back again, second part. And this is the book of Ephesians 4. And we'll start from verse 22. And it says, That ye put off concerning the, the former conversation, the old man. You know, how you used to speak when you were in the world, when you weren't in this truth. There should be a, a, a big change and big difference to how you speak when you come in the truth. The mentality that you had yeah, in the past, outside the truth, should be different than what you have now. You know? Um, like for example, in the previous video, I mentioned you know, the bad habits. You know? And the false doctrines, the false philosophies that you once used to believe, that you now know is, is BS, bullshit. Yeah? You gotta come away from that. Um, and it says, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. There you go. Because before you came to this truth, you were not in the spirit, obviously. You were in the flesh. So everything... Your your body your 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 carnal self desired it it lusted after it yeah and it lusted after vain things especially money man you, you probably worship the money you probably worship the woman no you probably worship your job your career <coughs> or anything. That is a, a creation. You val you valid it uh, too much to even care about the Most High Yahweh by Shemeshai. Yeah, that, that's to your old self. And it says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, renewed in the spirit, renewed in the Word, the Scriptures, the knowledge. Wisdom and understand. Uh, John six sixty three says what? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. This society don't promote life; rather, it, it promotes death. That's why there's so many uh, uh, homosexuals and people a part of the LGBT and Q community, which all all brings what death and diseases. One of the what either one or the other. And anyway, it's ultimately leads to death anyway. Because the scripture say in the book of Romans, the wages of sin is death. So how can you trust in a society that promotes promotes this? How are you going to trust in a society that promotes uh, um, abortions? No? This is it's sickening, man. How are you gonna promote? How are you gonna be cool with a society that promotes men being effeminate? It promotes women having dominance over men, which is against the scriptures. According to the Bible, according to the Most High, you know the men are the rulers over the woman, over the uh, the family, the household. So and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yeah, through this word. And that you put on the new man. So you got to put on a new mindset. you got to put, a, put on a new character, which is spirit. New persona, personality. You know? You might have been arrogant before. You might have been an arsehole before. You might have been lazy before. You might have been uh, very, uh, will, very or willingly ignorant before. To things, you might have been very emotional and carnal, always getting into fights, always getting into arguments, unnecessary alter altercations. Maybe you're a type of person that didn't care to seek out knowledge, history. Yeah. Maybe you're just too, uh, your type of person that's too, too naive. 
The list goes on. Verse 24, And that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah. And that's right, you know, the Lord, the Lord is really for your, your best interest, man. First of all, the Most High, Yahweh, Bashimisha, knows you better than you know yourself. The scripture says he even knows the number of hairs you have in your head, man. Come on. Your whole, your whole, your whole being, your whole existence is, your, is structured and manufactured by the Most High, Yahweh, Bashimisha, to a T. He knows everything about you. Yeah. Yeah, you you you're focusing on what you want, but the most high knows what you actually need in life. And what you need is him, you know. Wherefore putting away lying, you know, that, that that's there goes it again. I was speaking up speaking about before, you know. Uh the, the casting down imaginations and strongholds goes back to the things you were taught. Um, false doctrines, false philosophies, and even um, traits that you, you've um, built up over the years through your experience from your childhood, you know, bad habits, so to speak. You know, and lying is, is one of them. You, 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 you are not honest, you are dishonest, you found it easier to lie than to tell the truth because you fear rejection because you. You fear consequences, you know, basically not being a man, which is a bad trait. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. And who's your neighbor? The brothers that are in the truth with you, man. You know, yeah, everybody's got their personal hell, personal afflictions, you know, personal experiences different level, different measures, different situations, different environments, you know, according to the Lord's timing. Nevertheless, we're still brethren and neighbours because we believe and follow one thing, and that's Yahweh by Shemel Shai. We push his truth, we keep, up, keep on grinding, building the faith, exhorting each other, complimenting each other, you know, in a positive manner through the Spirit, and so on. We, we, we are all who we have, man. We're a minority, but a spiritual minority, man. Where we, we think outside of this world. <coughs> Why? Because our Lord is not of this world. Yeah? We can read the book of John and talks about that. Um, for we are members of one one of another yeah that's right we are a team we are a group we are one you know under Yahweh Bashim and Shai and we've got to follow order and we've got to do what the Lord wants us to do we are like again to the main topic you know put away the old man your conversation has to be different when you're coming in coming in the truth man so this is mainly like to new brothers mainly but you know now and then now Every now and then, you know, how, however long you've been in the truth, you need to, you know, always repeat the basics, you know. Either basics on, on doctrines or basics on uh, developing your character because we slip up time time after time, man. We ain't perfect, and that's why we need your house shy, man. Yeah, so put away the old man and we'll just keep, you know, shedding, when, shedding that dead skin, just like a snake. In the desert sheds its skin, and it becomes new and fresh. You can now maneuver smoother. In other words, when you put off that dead skin, that dead weight, you see things more clearly. You know, you're no longer ignorant. Now you know how to respond in a masculine and spiritual manner to things that you know that are you know off. But hey man, with that, hope you've been edified. Shalom.